क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव गॉट टू नो अबाउट दैट हाउ कैन वी प्रिपेयर दैट इज हेलो अरीज और बेसिकली अरल हाइलाइट्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट व्हाई एक्चुअली अरल हाइलाइट्स आर लेस रिएक्टिव कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ द अल्काइल हाइलाइट्स सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट इट So talking about that is aryl halides are less reactive than that of the alkaline. So for that we have to understand that what would be the character that would be exhibited by the aryl halides and that could be exhibited with the following diagram that I am going to represent. So let us talk about that. So the structure of the aryl halide can be represented and because of that we could be able to understand that why the aryl halides are basically less reactive compared to that of the alkyl halide. And there are also various reasons that we are going to talk about. So let us first of all understand that what would be uh, the structure that we could represent about the aryl halide. So this is somewhere I am representing the structure of an haloarene where this is basically the halide atom that consists of basically as we know that it consists of basically three uh, lone pair of electrons and suppose if that uh, uh, halogen atom that is been attached to the carbon atom and that carbon atom as we could see over here is basically an sp2 hybridized carbon atom so that is the reason that uh, that sp2 hybridized carbon atom compared to that of uh, the sp3 hybridized carbon atom of the uh, alkyl halide this carbon atom is more electronegative and that's the reason that uh, there will be delocalization of electron and uh, thereby the following resulting structure that is what we could get over here and based on that we are going to talk about a uh, certain kind of reason why the aryl halides are less reactive so the shifting takes place in such a manner that uh, here we could find a carbon carbon double bond over here while talking about this two electrons they would be basically responsible to acquire a negative charge on this carbon atom so making the structure to be as so basically uh, here we have found a carbon carbon double uh, sorry carbon and halogen double bond over here so therefore this is what i am representing with the two uh, lone pair of electrons that are present as it is while mean while the uh, electron that has been uh, that is move on to the carbon atom so as to form a carbon uh, halogen double bond over here but we realize this one will acquire a negative charge but talking about the other one that will be remain as it is so this is what we have got to know over here and uh, talking about the next thing that is uh, again uh, the delocalization of electron would take place in such a manner that this electron will uh, form a structure or resonating structure that would is very much similar to that of this one now this will acquire a negative charge over here while this was remaining as it is and this is the double bond character that we could see uh, for carbon and halogen atom over here and again even this is not stable uh, because uh, there are possibilities of uh, that is a uh, shifting of electron or delocalization of electron so that's the reason that uh, even this would uh, convert into structure that is what i want to represent over here that is but here there is a double bond and uh, so that was that is unaffected right now and now here will be a double bond formation over here while here there will be a negative charge that would occur over here and uh, this is basically the uh, carbon uh, double bond and halogen and now again further it would basically convert into the resonating structure is what we have got over here and this is the ultimate thing that we could get but meanwhile if we would observe that is since the uh, double bond of the halogen atom that was been uh, that is uh, that was been delocalized in basically in forming the resonance so meanwhile we could say that the halogen will acquire a positive charge over here or the halogen atom will acquire a positive charge over here so that is what i am representing over here right now and that's it so now if you observe and uh, since in the previous lecture we have got to know about uh, that is uh, the nature of uh, that is uh, the carbon and halogen uh, bond between uh, that is what we have got to learn in the previous one so that case we have got to know even this kind of that is a double bond of formation between the carbon and the halogen takes place making the halogen to be positive while uh, while observing this resonating structure and also we could say that the carbon is basically the one which is basically electronegative and the carbon in the halo arenes are basically more electronegative and that's the reason that uh, since we know uh, generally that uh, halogens are basically more electronegative and that's the reason that uh, the bond fusion 
it will be very much easy but in this case the bond fusion is not that much easy as we could see that there would be a double bond formation during the resonant structure that we are observing over here so that's the reason that uh, this kind of reaction is not very easy task and that's the reason that uh, it requires certain kind of uh, uh, external uh, basically external pressure or certain kind of uh, that is a critical condition from which we could say that a particular kind of reaction would happen so this was regarding that is uh, the uh, double bond formation that is what we have observed over here but now let me talk about the various other reasons also for which we could understand that why the aryl halides are less reactive compared to that of the alkyl halide so in the previous lecture we have got to know about the sn1 mechanism as well as sn2 mechanism so what happens in sn1 mechanism is the chlorine atom or the halogen atom that is been attached to the tertiary butyl bromide so that is an example that we have uh, discussed about in the previous lecture so in that case the cl or that uh, x uh, halogen atom that was been removed uh, by its own and there how we have found that is uh, the uh, carbocation formation has been occurred and because of the presence of the OH uh, minus ions or because of the presence of, of the base where we could find that uh, the Cl minus has been dissociated and there how the bond will have broken in such a manner that the carbocation has been formed and after that the base that is OH minus ion that has been attacked on from the front side as well as from the back side. So that was related to the SN1 mechanism where the halogen atom was been dissociated or was been removed uh, from its uh, uh, substrate because of the presence of the base and similarly if you are talking about the SN2 mechanism then in SN2 mechanism basically uh, the bromine atom if uh, we are talking about that is methyl bromide as an example which undergoes that is SN2 mechanism so therefore because of the OH minus ion or because of the nucleophile what happens is the bromine atom it gets removed and that how we could say that in SN2 mechanism the uh, mechanism or the rate of the reaction it depends on both that is the substrate as well as the reagent uh, or basically the base that we have used or the nucleophile that what we have used so but why it doesn't happen so here the reason behind that is because of the bond formation because of the double bond formation that has been occurring over here as we could see in the resonating structure so therefore we could say that this x cannot be removed easily by its own and hence we could say the sn1 mechanism is not even possible and meanwhile if you observe that is uh, if we have to do a nucleophilic substitution so for that we understood that uh, the carbon that requires a negative charge on here that is on the ortho position on the para position uh, again on the ortho position and meanwhile we are talking about the resonance and obviously the delocalization of electron take space uh, between the ring in, in this ring making the ring to be more negative and that's the reason why well, nucleophile that would uh, attack uh, so as to substitute this x so meanwhile that would be not very easy task the reason behind that is because if this ring uh, turns into a negatively charged uh, ring and that's the reason suppose if a nucleophile that is itself a negatively charged species suppose if they will attack each other so we know that they won't attract uh, each other because of the charge similarity but somehow we have to do the substitution reaction but this kind of uh, substitution reaction is very much easy to observe in alkyl halide but we are not observing it in aryl halides so that's the reason there are also few kind of examples that i'm talking about so these are the main three reasons that we have talked about the first thing is it is showing that is a double bond character the second is basically we have understood that it is not exhibiting SN as well as the SN2 mechanism. So this all three are the main reason uh, that is what we have got to know. And uh, also we have understood that uh, the ring that has been present or the delocalization of the electrons makes the benzene ring to be more negative when an, an alkyl halide has been attached to it. And that's the reason that uh, it is not a very easy task to give a reaction. But also there are certain kind of uh, reactions that I am going to talk about which uh, exhibit a nucleophilic substitution reaction. But uh, let us talk about that thing. So the reactions are as follows where we could understand uh, the substitution reaction can happen but in drastic condition. So let us talk about it. Suppose if we have an example that is. Chlorobenzene. And suppose if we have to do a that is substitution reaction by using a base like NUH or KOH. So suppose if I am using that is OH minus ion. This indicates that I have used KOH or NUH. And uh, so this reaction is not very possible because we have recently we have got to know about uh, the reasons. And that's the reason that uh, some kind of drastic condition has been required. And that is basically the temperature that is what we have to increase. If we raise the temperature, because in this reaction we have observed that is uh, the temperature that has been required is more than 600 Kelvin. So I would write it here as 623 Kelvin of the temperature has been required as well as the high pressure has been required so as to convert basically the chlorobenzene.
So here by basically the CL uh, ion has been removed. So this is an uh, example that I have uh, mentioned about here and this is how we could say that the substitution reaction is possible but not that much easy like that of an alkyl halide. So suppose if this would have been an alkyl halide like suppose Rx and we are treating with NH so it doesn't require high pressure. It can react very easily and we could get a particular alcohol but here how we have got basically phenol but with a certain condition so now let me talk about the another one so if uh, I'm uh, that is exhibiting a reaction where I could find that is uh, the chlorobenzene has been used along with that of that is uh, HCN or NACN or sodium cyanide suppose if this is what I'm using and again in this reaction uh, we see high temperature has been required as well as high pressure has been required so therefore here it is what I'm mentioning as high temperature and suppose high pressure so at high temperature and high pressure obviously this kind of drastic uh, or this kind of severe condition that we have provided to this kind of reacting mixtures will basically turn this chlor chloromenzene into in basically an aryl cyanide so this is what we have got over here and uh, the rest of the thing is NaCN that will be removed so these are the few examples that I was talking about so this is the reason that we have got to know that why aryl halides are more reactive compared to that of the hello enemies so that's it this is what I want to talk about so thank you friends for watching this video I hope we have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know about the reasons behind it so thank you friends for watching this video and I hope you will share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much